Hey, all you subscribers. I appreciate you guys taking time to watch. So last night I made a video about the cookie and uh, it was kind of dark and I was, my daughter was out and I was just trying something out and just made that video. But anyway, so I wanted to make a video with more lighting. It's um, a lot better and my camera is set the right way. I went ahead and put the video out because I like what I said on it. So I'm going to try to say that again um, and a little bit quicker, kind of. But I do want to talk about the cookie. So this message is mainly for girls. If there's some guys on here that want to listen, hey, listen to it. Because I want to talk serious to you girls. Because I know that I've watched, I used to watch Steve Harvey all the time. And I really hate it that he's not on anymore. Well, I think he's on Facebook watch or something like that but anyway i miss the fact that he's on because he talked really good about a lot of good things so what i'm going to tell you is a kind of piggybacking off of what he talked about and that's the cookie and how powerful the cookie is and i don't have to say anything more because if you guys have watched steve harvey you know what i'm talking about so there's a lot of uh, girls that have been hurt, young girls, old women, middle-aged women, whatever. That's We've all been hurt by men. Men have been hurt by women. I think it's something that's going to go on for until time gets better. And it's probably was there before we were even here. So women have something very valuable that they don't value in today's society and that's the cookie you have something very important women that men want and if you treated it like it was gold like it was the golden cookie a lot of these guys wouldn't treat you the way they do they wouldn't treat other women the way they do but we as women and i'm not talking about me because i'm not like that but as women, you don't respect yourselves nowadays. You want, you let these guys have anything that they want. You let them treat you the way they want. And as long as you let them treat you the way they, that they want to treat you, then they're going to keep running through you and everybody else. If the first thing that you do when you see a guy at a club or wherever you meet guys at, is you want to throw the cookie at them and you want to throw sex at them. That's a mistake. You need to use your smarts. Don't just do that. And don't, if, it, if a guy is married, stop. Stop messing with married men, women. That's not doing you any good. That's ugly. So have respect for yourself. And have respect for the other person. If the guy is stupid enough not to have respect for his wife or his girlfriend, then maybe you should. Because guess what? That's going to come back to kick, to kick you in the butt. I'm telling you from experience. I know. I've been there and done that. I But not on the other side. I've never mess with a married man or taken guy or whatever. I'd rather get a guy that was single right? My own person. Um, cause I'm not just that type of person to just, if you tell me you're with a girl, I'm out of there and everybody else should be the same way. But women don't have respect for themselves and they don't have respect for each other. And when you live your life like that, it's not good. So again, I was talking about Steve Harvey and how on his shows, he talks about the cookie. Well, we all know what the cookie is. And that's a powerful tool that women have. And if you stop giving the cookie to everybody and anybody that comes around you, then maybe guys would treat you better and they would stay with you, right? Because it's an emotional attachment. And that's what Steve Harvey was saying also when he speaks about that, that it all guys get together and they talk about this. And girls think that if they swing off of poles or if they do this or she's not doing that or I'm going to do this to keep my man. No, you're no different than everybody else. Everybody's cookie's the same.
Yeah, maybe you do a few different things, but pretty much it's the same, right? And he says on one of his shows and episodes that, that it's all the same. They get around and talk about it. The guys must have an emotional attachment for you in order to stay with you. Until a man is emotionally attached to you, it ain't no different than the rest of them. Right? Even if he cheats on his woman, you know, he's probably going to go back to that woman. I don't care what he's telling you. He's going to go back to her. It happens time and time again. Because he doesn't have an emotional attachment with you. He has a sexual attachment. And sexual attachments go away. Right? He wants someone that's going to be emotionally attached to him. And those are the ones that he's going to stay with. Trust me. He's using you. Stop letting men run through you, women. Stop it. It's not cute. And you're just giving yourself all kind of diseases and infections and whatever else that you're giving yourself, right? They don't care about you. The men do not care. If you allow them to run through you, they're going to run through you and run through the next person. And who are you going to be calling but your friend and saying, hey, so-and-so did this to me and he did that and blah, 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 blah. I'm over it. I'm over it. Because you did it to yourself. And guess what? Then you're going to grow up and then you're going to realize, oh my God, I shouldn't do it. I shouldn't have done that. But then yet yeah, you see the reality shows on TV and those reality shows, what? What do they teach young girls? That yeah, I can take your man and I can take your man and I can take your man. And then I'm going to fight you for it. Women, stop fighting over men. It makes no sense to fight over a man. Because guess what? He's not fighting over you. He's just going to sit back and let you all look stupid. Fighting over each other. If your man is cheating on you, then you have beef with your man. First and foremost, you don't have beef with the lady, the girl. Unless she jumps in your face, it's a different story if she wants to put herself there. But first and foremost, you have beef with your man because he is in the relationship with you. And it's nobody else's business, right? What you do or how you take care of your business, right? It's nobody else's business. But I, what I do have to say is use the cookie to your advantage and stop giving it away for free. It's pretty simple. Don't go crying after you slept with a guy on the first night, a first date, and he doesn't call you. Guess what? You were that girl that allowed him to do that. So as my son would always tell my daughter when they're talking about stuff, don't be that girl. Be the one who says, who's that? Who's that girl? Wow, who is that? Not that girl. Because all the other girls are doing the same thing. Being out there. I don't want to call you names because I don't want to disrespect anybody. But... You're that girl, not who's that. Be who's that. Change. It's important. It's for your life. It's for the respect so you can start loving yourself. If that's what's most important is we love ourselves and we care about ourselves, then that's when we feel most good about ourselves and we won't let people do us in. You won't have all these eating disorders. You won't have all these depression and whatever. And I'm just talking to women right now because I'm a woman, right? I can't say for men. I know how men are, most of them. But I'm speaking for women right now because I want you to use and utilize what you have. And that's what's most important to you and I know some of you girls you have moms all of you have moms but whether your moms are in your lives or not but I am that mom that tells both of my children male and female you know how they should act and how they should hold themselves 
you know, in front of other people. You let your life speak for itself. If I live my life to speak for itself, then I don't have to worry about what people think about me or what they'll think or what they'll say or, you know, whatever. I let my life speak for me, right? And you should let your life speak for you. But like I said um, in the beginning, this is about the cookie. Utilize your tool. It's a powerful tool. It's powerful. And that's what men care about. You know, they're sexual beings. And if they care about sex and you don't give it to them because they're doing this and doing that and acting up, if everybody would do the same thing and everybody would withhold it and don't just say, oh, well, I can go to this girl and get it. No, this girl's not giving it up either. That girl's not giving it up either. And if everybody tells him no, then guess what? He doesn't get what he wants. And guess what? He's going to straighten his act up. But as long as you girls decide to just give it up and don't make them work for it. And I'm not telling, I'm not saying buy you a, a dinner here and a dinner there. I'm saying, boy, you need to act right. That's what you guys need to do. If you want to be in a relationship and you want someone to respect you, then that's what you need to do. Hold on to that cookie. You're not going to die. Trust me, you won't. You really won't die, right? So if you guys um, have any questions or something that you know you want to hear, I got a lot of stuff to say. Trust me, life. I have a lot of stuff to say. But if there's something that you want to hear, you want to talk about, let me know what you think about what I what I think about about the cookie and saving yourself. You know, a lot of headache and a lot of like the kids say now, body counts. What's your body count? I don't really care what your body count is. I'm just saying, if you want to start today and start over, start over. You have prized possession that you walk around with every day. Treat it as such. Okay, I'm out of here, you guys. Um, thank you for watching, and God bless you. And please leave a comment and like. Hit that like button. What's wrong with you guys? We need likes. We need subscribers. Hit that like button. If you're watching me, hit the like button. What's wrong with you? And subscribe. Okay? I know you guys want to hear what I have to say. You need it. You need somebody other than the people in your life. Because guess what? I may say what they're saying. And that's something that you all need to hear. I love you. Okay, bye.